Hello, and thank you for joining me today on Vintageous. I'm Joni, and I'm going to show you my recent haul, so things that I've picked up recently to list either on Etsy or on uh, Vamp on District. Uh, the listing or all the links to where I sell will be down below in the description. So starting off with these Corel um, cups. I, oh, what's the pattern on this? I think it's springtime or spring okay, I think. I'll make sure I put put it below here um, when I edit this, the right num name of the pattern. But I just thought that these were really cute, really perfect for like a cappuccino. And I have a set of four of them. And I just recently learned that the company that produces Corel and Pyrex has actually filed for bankruptcy in Canada and in the U.S. So I don't know what that's going to mean, but maybe we're going to all start to really want to, you know, buy <laughs> Corel we can find kind of thing. So this is a, a platter that I picked up and I've added this already to Etsy, my listing on Etsy. Uh, perfect for Thanksgiving when you want to match your Corel set with you know, or Christmas. Um, our Thanksgiving, of course, is gone now. We're Canadian Thanksgiving, but uh, American Thanksgiving is coming up, so it'll be perfect for that. So that's the first thing that I want to show you. And I should point out, too, all the stuff that you see in the back there will go up as well. The, these little glasses, these little shot glasses that are Finnish um, um, from Italia, uh, glasses I've put up on district on the vamp site already so that's up that little elf that you can see let me grab him so this little elf is already up on vamp as well notice that he's got some sort of chips to his paint not to the actual ceramics but the paint itself and there's one on his arm there and a couple on the back but it's just to the the, the surface just to the paint um and he's marked japan he's very sassy look at that little booty he's just a sassy little elf so he's up on on vamp and then i've got a couple of carnival glass pieces so this one here which is like a stretch vase or swung vase with a fire polished rim um carnival glass so that's up on vamp and then i've also put up another carnival glass piece um and i've put it up with some candies too so it is a candy dish and another marigold piece um and really pretty i love the shape of it and then i've put uh with the listing also some bus candies as well so they're really cute So yeah, so that's that's already up on Vamp as well, so you can check that out. Um, what else? The swan back there, that's a Blue Mountain Pottery Swan that I'll be putting up. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that. Probably on Etsy with, um, where I'll pair it with uh, the du a duck maybe. I don't know. We'll see. And then the, um, the two uh, candlesticks. Show you those so i believe these are um viking candlesticks and i found these kind of twisty glittery candles um and, you, and i'll send them with it if the person wants it but but those will probably go up on vamp so that's that's i think all that's back in the back there and then i'm going to be putting these up on etsy uh they are crystal and they're quite heavy they're very good quality and it's sort of a pink and blue set and this was a very common way for uh, sort of i guess his and hers if you want to use the gender <laughs> coloring and if you can see there it's signed let's see let's put it there you can see that it's signed there and that's um kajumi i think it is um again i'll put it in text below 
And so it's a Japanese crystal manufacturing company. Very, very, very high quality. Just gorgeous. So I call these small tumblers. So those are, will go up on Etsy as well. Really high quality. Um, and then I have this really pretty little, um, I would call it an, an elegant glass, not depression glass, because it's, I believe it's elegant glass. Um, and I would call that a little tidbit tray, but I was thinking, wouldn't it be just so gorgeous with chocolates on it? Like you could put chocolates on it and put it out, um, you know, after dinner, after a nice party dinner. So I thought that was really pretty. So that, I don't know, I'll probably put that up on VAMP. It's sort of <laughs> half a dozen of one dozen of the other, which which site I'll put it up on. But, um, oh, and I also have these two um, zinc, you know, uh, lidded old um, jars. And I'm gonna put those up on Etsy. Really cool really fun for and I've, I've got a shelf that I've got up on Etsy too a wooden shelf and I'll put a link to it as well because it's these fit perfectly you could actually probably fit three of them and I, I do I think have more of these jars somewhere maybe in storage so I'll have to look and find them but the next day, Mom and I went out to Value Village, and we stopped for lunch as well. I found this thing. What the heck? Anybody got any ideas of what it is? Probably should have bought it, but it just was so weird. I didn't know what it was. I really know how to show my mom a good time. Guess where we are? Yep, we are at Ikea. This was probably my cheapest shopping trip ever to Ikea, but check out the blue bag gone Christmas. So cool. I loved it. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is this really neat um, sculpture figurine of some cardinals feeding their babies. Um, Japan, made in Japan. It's pattern number 1312. There is a ton, some damage on it. Um, where is it? One of these petals feels a bit rough. This petal looks like it's broken a little bit. Um, and then I think there's like a little bit of, you know, paint loss a little bit there. Other than that, I guess that's a little bit of paint loss, but it's more likely just that the paint didn't go there. Other than that, I couldn't find any other kind of damage. So it's in pretty good shape considering the age. I mean, this is not a, a new piece at all. This is this is a really old piece and there are lots of possibilities for, you know, like the beaks are fine and everything. So I think that's fine. This one's fine, no, there's no chips on that. So a lot of delicate pieces that, that, you know, haven't been damaged. So that I will put up I'm not sure. I guess I'm going to put that up on um, VAMP, I'm thinking. So that'll go up on VAMP. And then I found these. <gasps> Look at these, you guys. <laughs> I was so excited. So there, I got actually two of them. One's not enough. Look at this. Two. Boom. So this one with the yellow hat and the blue bow is in immaculate condition. I could not find a chip, a crack, or nothing, which is amazing again, because this is, you know, that Japanese ceramics that can easily get damaged. But no, the only thing is a little bit of a manufacturing flaw there, like it's like a piece chunk right in the glaze. But so that's one, isn't that great? And the back stamp on that is Japan and there's the number there so there's that guy and then this one here unfortunately you can see that the the flowers broken there and there's another little chip here this one I think you could easily um, touch up with watercolor paint I know you'd never even see it because 
it's not really it's a very minor surface chip so I think you could really easily touch that up what I would do with this is file it with a nail file and just kind of smooth it off and then it'll be fine because look at that I mean that's just look at the eyes on that one. Oh my gosh I just think these guys are so cute so cute green and green eyes and blue eyes so this one's a tabby right and then you got the gray oh just so cute so those are going to go up on vamp for sure and then what do i have next oh look at this guys so this is the this is a an amazing piece of fenton um it's the charlton line and just look at this hand painting of roses and other flowers uh, with a ruffle top with, you know, the gold. Now, the buyer or the seller told me there was a bit of rub to the gold, but I just don't even really see what they were talking about. I mean, I think it's in great shape. I'm kind of struggling to see where they felt there was rub to the gold because you know what rub to gold looks like well, you know it's quite usually it's quite uh, obvious but anyway i can't really see that it's even got the original charlatan sticker on it hand decorated and the number pattern number and then the initials of the, the hand decorator isn't that gorgeous i think it would be really beautiful with um you know silk flowers or you want to put flowers in it but i think just by itself it's just gorgeous right so yes i'll be putting this up on vamp and yeah because it's there's a lot of uh, fenton lovers on vamp so i'll be putting that up there for sure just a gorgeous 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 piece so that's i think it for my non-christmas stuff and then i i did a bunch of christmas christmas stuff buying so i want to show you a few things there i've got this really cool um it's a newer but it's still vintage um czech so Ch uh, czech republic is what's on the the top of it here so it's like a sunflower with a bee um i'm guessing this is sort of 90s ish 90s um mercury glass ornament so that i will probably put this up on hmm i'm not sure i haven't decided probably vamp it's nice and lightweight and then look at this guy isn't he cute oh my gosh i thought he was adorable look at that budget that but <laughs> little little coochie bum <laughs> oh my gosh so darn cute and it's lennox it's a lennox figurine yeah very cute now when i looked this up i could find a bunch of them um so there i guess they were kind of a series of them so it'd be really fun to, to collect all of these snowmen but i couldn't find a lot of examples of this one so i thought he was adorable and again he's in fantastic shape there's no chips on, on him or anything really really good good uh condition so i'll put him up on vamp and then i've got this amazing tablecloth oh my gosh um really really cool 1950s tablecloth i'll put a picture up right now of it on a table so you can really see thanks mom for helping me to to put that up um, i'll also put up the measurements of it as well it's, you know, a pretty good size for your sort of average table. Um, yeah, so I thought that was really cool. I will put this up on Vamp, probably. And if it's not on Vamp, check check Etsy. I mean, that's <laughs> that would be the other place. So then I've got a bunch of ornaments. So I thought these were really cool. I haven't taken them out of the bag just yet. Um, I will and take the hang to hangers off because I don't like shipping stuff with the hangers. But those are really cool ones. I can't see a name stamped on the top of those, but really fun. So that's the first one I found. Then I found this bag, but so this one's nothing, but these four are really fun. So that's Sylvester, and then there's the Roadrunner, and Pluto, and Mickey, and Daisy, Duck, 
and Elmer Fudd. So it was Bugs Bunny. So that's those are really fun. Disney and Warner ones. Then I found this, which is new old stock. So I haven't taken it out of the bag, but look at look at what it it's like Lucite um, garland. Really cool. And there's a number of these like flowers. I guess that's maybe there's more than one strand. I might have to take it out of the bag just to measure it and and see what I'm dealing with, but I hope I yeah, we'll see. And then I found these um, beautiful glass, kind of hand-blown glass teardrops with that iridescence to them. Oh, just love those. I think those are really cool. And then I got these ones. So these are really neat with a kind of frosted top. There's some kind of, you know, shabbiness to them. They're not in perfect condition by any means. You know, but again, really cool. Love the colors. Those are definitely mid-century. And then I found a ton of satin wrapped ones, plastic ones, which I love. I love these satin wrapped ones. So I found this big bag of them. And then I also found a new old stock bag of them. So that was from Link Hardware. For $2.98, oh, so that's, does it have a, no, no um, barcode, so I'm guessing then this is like 60s, 70s, early 70s, um, so there's that bag of them too. Probably what I'll do is list these with the these other ones so that, you know, if a person wants a bunch of red ones, they can get, you know, the, this or they can buy this the red ones from this I think I think that's how I'm gonna do it so is that everything that is everything for today so thank you so much I've got a lot of listing to do as you can see <laughs> so I'll go and get to it now but thank you so much for joining me if you see something that you really want that that's not up on either Etsy or vamp just give me a shout let me know in the comments uh, it just helps me to know what to prioritize in my listing, my listing work that I have ahead of me for this week. Thanks so much for joining me. You know I love ya. Mwah. Bye now. Oh, and if you didn't see my short, mom and I were out shopping and saw this and it made me crack up.